The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, we appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Uh, right now, we have the Dow up 142. You get the Nasdaq up uh, 12. The Nasdaq up 41. Uh, S and P's are up 12. We have the gold contract down five dollars and 20 cents trading at 1264. Silver's up two cents at 1733. The notes are down 12 ticks, 13030. Bonds are off one. Full point, four ticks, 166.19. King dollars down 438 ticks at 93.32. We have the vote today. We get volatility. You got it all. We do. And, and we're seeing it in those numbers, right? And we're seeing it in the numbers. And you know what's amazing, folks, uh, is that last night, so, you know, the, the, the futures, of course, closed at quarter past uh, four Eastern time. They opened back up at six. And when they opened back up last night, it was pretty amazing. You had the uh, E-minis themselves, they were up 10 to 11 points. The NASDAQ futures were up 20 points. I was looking, I said, okay, man, what the heck is that all about? Nothing had even happened yet. Bottom line, you know, they were up. They got up a lot further. And uh, thus far, they've been uh, basically, well, they have been selling off. The DAX in Germany, you talk about volatility. You want to see some volatility, folks? The DAX in Germany got as high as 10,340 today, and now it's at 10,156. It, it hasn't even got to... It, it gave it, it's given everything up. Pretty amazing. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. Every trading day, right here at TFNN, folks, swim lessons. Great program. Kevin, Scott, Cindy, if you haven't test drove the Think or Swim platform yet, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit that banner, bring it up. You can see how the, um, the, a broker dealer trades. It's a, it's a, a phenomenal um, exchange. Not exchange. It's a phenomenal. Um, <laughs> you are. It's an exciting morning, man. We. <laughs> I know. Shame on me. Shame on me. Kevin Hanks, what? what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everything going? Doing well, God. man. It's going good. Forty-six million people are eligible to vote for the Brexit today, Tom. Forty-six million. Forty-six million. Okay. Yeah. And you know it's amazing. It it it, it really is a trip that um, the press can't talk about it. You know, watch, listen to Bloomberg on the way in. Okay. They're 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 over there live, and you know they they're saying that they can't even report on it until five o'clock tonight Eastern time. You know, so right? The, the polls it, it, yeah, they, they've got a little different laws and policies than we do over here. Yeah. Needless to say, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, so but you know. Here's my question, Tom. Did, did, did you watch VIX, the second half of yesterday, how it spiked up to almost the 22 level? Wow. 21 and change late in the day yesterday. And then it's obviously it's come down today. But my my point that I brought up to the guys this morning is if, if they vote to, you know, stay, which yeah. the majority think, you know, they think it's close, but still the money seems to be coming in on the side of staying. Okay. An 18 VIX is too high. You know, I it, see, yeah. People may, may be covering the VIX right around here. 18, eight, you know, this VIX could be 13 in a couple days. Yeah. You've got to be, you've got to have your portfolio prepared for that. You've got to check your Vega, make sure you have any, any Vega exposure, and you have to make sure, and that's what we're going to talk about today, preparing yourself for getting ready for what happens after the vote. It's, listen, man, five, six o'clock tonight when they open those futures back up, man, it's going to be wild, man. Just no yeah, doubt. Yeah, that'll be must-be trading. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Well, you know, last night, I, I, I'm sure you heard me when I was, we were just talking at the beginning. It was like, I said, okay, man, nothing, nothing had gone on last night. And the futures, when they reopened, they opened with a monster gap. You know, it's like, right. well, you know, it's pretty wild, man, no doubt. Yeah, but I mean, you know... It's still going to be thin because remember we're not going to know. You're not going to know really till mid, what, what? What time do you think? Two, two, maybe? It's going to be a good two in the morning our time that we're really yeah. going to know. Yeah. Right. Right. So that's what we're speculating on here. When are we going to know 
U.S. time. Yes. What time are we going to find out exactly, you know, yay or nay? Yeah. And you you have to trade off that. A lot of guys will be sitting at their computers whatever time that get that, that gets announced. Oh, there's no doubt, man. And you know what? Come tomorrow's Friday, right? Yes. Oh my God. Right. I mean, think about that for a second. You come into a Friday in the summer, and normally, folks, Fridays and Mondays in the summer are slow. And last Friday certainly wasn't slow, and this Friday's not going to be slow. You know. Right. But I'm going to be really watching the VIX and see what it does to the VIX because. It spiked late in the day yesterday, and now it's come back around that 18 level. I, since I came in oh, on the phone, I'm not sure where it is, but it's 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 still too high. Yeah, and you know? what what did happen, Kevin? Right when you know when you just came on, it actually uh, well no at 9:45. That's when it spiked from 17.75 to 18.53, and it's at 18.52 right. right now. Right, that was quite a spike, and I think I haven't seen. I was just I was still in my car, but it, it looks like that was the jobless numbers that come in they were very low it didn't look like 259,000 on the jobless claims down 18,000 that's that's a good number yeah and that's what spiked the S&Ps and the Nasdaq futures lower okay right sure. yeah so yeah. so the market's going to be dealing with that for quite a while today too <laughs> a lot to digest Tom a lot to talk about we're going to do it all today on Swimbuck so folks no matter where you are in your car right now listening to the program Remember, you can get us 24 hours a day right on your cell phone. Go to tiffinn.com. Kevin, Scott, Cindy, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Kevin, have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to the show. Always a pleasure, guys. Have a good day. Have a great one, man. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. You stay right there. We get the uh, Dow up 146, Nasdaq's up 40, S&Ps are up 14 and a half. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by high concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. 
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So we have the Dow Industrials up 144. You get the Nasdaq up 41. S&Ps are up 17. And if we go uh, inside the Dow first and we take a look at, uh, thank you, we take a look at uh, what is moving out here, uh, bringing it up versus down. Uh, there's only one Dow stock that's red. You know, so that's not that up uh, that much for one stock being red. You get Pfizer uh, down uh, one-tenth of one percent. The leader out here is Goldman Sachs. That's up uh, 2%. You get JP Morgan up 1.8. Caterpillar is up 1.6. Inside the uh, NDX 100, the leader is uh, Micron Tech. That's up 9%. Uh, Western Digital is up 5%. Oh, this is a wild one. So Bed Bath & Beyond, this last night, Tom, this was trading, let me just, yeah, this was trading down $5. Last, oh, that was trading down, no, $2 last night. Oh, look at it. opened down, too. Oh, my God. So Bed, Bath & Beyond. What are the, look at that. So Bed, Bath & Beyond, folks, um, they come out with numbers last night. They didn't make their numbers. Uh, it was trading down a couple dollars, and what you did have, it, that opened uh, at a low and just went from 41.25 to 44.36. That's, that's quite a move, man. It is. <laughs> Seriously, right? Um, uh, let's see. So you get SB Communications. That's up uh, 3%. Uh, taken away from it on the way down. You get Viacom down uh, two-tenths of a percent. Google is down one. Uh, Google's got, Google's going to be a problem child for the NDX. Uh, that, you know, you're down eight bucks, which is not a lot. You're going after, well, for $600 stock, $700 stock. You're going after the 688 area, and we'll see whether it, it cracks it. You know, but it looks to me like it's going after that uh, February 8th high volume uh, bar there. So that will be another indication that that's where this uh, market wants to go. Isn't this volatility crazy? Yeah. I mean, we somewhat expected it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, what I didn't expect, though, uh, is what I said, that with the futures just open right back up. Sure. I'd always like to try to figure, like, how does that happen? You know? So f picture, folks, you know, someone has to come in there, like, immediately and bid it up, you know, to do that. And that, what Kevin was saying, he, you know, he didn't get into it, but he's saying, yeah, it's illiquid, which, which it is. But that would mean that as soon as it opens up, right, someone's going to say, I'll buy it at this price. Sure. You know, which is, which is, which, what, what, no, which seemed expensive at that time, but it wasn't because they went up so dramatically higher. So if we go look at it, just so you can see what I'm talking about, folks, is that when they, when they reopened last night, they, you know, this is where they closed. They closed down at uh, 2,077. And then when they opened at 6 o'clock, they were already up at 2,089. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Just start, so, and then, they opened in 2083, just to put it in okay. within, just to, so it's six S&P points, really, right, that it moved. Yes. Okay. And I guess within the minute, they're at 2089, right? Right, right. Yeah. I just, and, but there were numbers released last night, too, right? Earnings, maybe? I just don't know, but there's, I mean... There's, no, there, well, no. There, there wasn't. It was just the opposite, because, well, the only number that we saw come out that was still trade that was trading was Bed Bath & Beyond. It was down. Okay. You know, but bottom line is that it opened up. It it it, it, sure. it opened up in a big way, and then at five o'clock this morning, uh, it really took off. At five o'clock, we went from uh, 2,095 all the way up to 2,102. You know, so it, we'll see where the, the whole rest of this uh, shakes out uh, the rest of the day. But uh, uh, gold, uh, you know, the way gold's trading, I, I kind of like it. Um, you know, they've they've tried to get it lower. What we haven't got yet is a sign of strength. You know, we, we've, we're coming into where the strength was on the way up, and, you know, 1267.20. I'd like to see it close above that 1267.20. You know, because right now we're 1265.50. It's been as low as 1259. Because if it doesn't do that, your next bar with this... See, it's going into a bar, folks, from the... 8th of June, where it had 182,000 contracts. And if it stays in that bar, then it could go all the way down to that 1247, which would be the strength as it come off the bottom on June 3rd. So, yeah. 
there's no doubt going to be uh, lots of different things happening out here. So, of course, one of those things at 10.30 on Thursdays is our natural oh, gas Oh, yeah, numbers. right. So we'll go over and take a peek at what that market's going to look like. Let's see what we have going on. Yeah, we get seven, seven minutes. Okay. So right now it's at 267, about. And we're getting volatility there as well, for yeah. sure. Um, you know, and again, just depending if you wanted to go with Nadex, there's spreads three of them, and really it's spanning, which is nice, all levels in terms of, you know, if you're bullish, there's one with 265 being the floor. Yeah. If you're bearish, there's one with 265 being the ceiling. And if you're somewhere in the middle, you have a 255 to 275 spread. Right. So it's nice that you kind of have all options depending on what you want to trade, what your market direction is, and how much risk reward premium volatility you're looking for. And this morning, so the the the, the spread this morning is like about 264 to 268, right? Fourth poor penny. The trading spread. Yeah. Yes. I mean, from highest, from lowest yeah, to highest. Yeah, it's traded from about 264 to 268. Yeah. So if we if we take a look at this, this this is where uh, let's see. Okay, so. Natural gas, two seven. This has been quite a run. So, I mean, there should be a lot of support there at the two seventy or at two seven, two point seven one three. Now, just I want to make sure we're on the same same contract. Yeah, this is important. No, it's not. That's what I mean. I okay. can just tell right away because right here it's a two sixty seven, and we're, somehow you're looking at two seven one. We're in the July contract. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. That, folks, so when you do uh, sign on to Nadex, they'll let you know what contract you're on. And, and that's where, at the very beginning, when you bring that box up, that's important to read that box. It's important to know what you're trading, <laughs> for sure, right? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So the, uh, let's see, N, NQ, no, NG, is it U? Let me see. Q, I believe. What are you, what are you, I'm oh, you're trying, trying to get I'm back trying to now. find okay. the July one, right. Okay. That's the September one. The uh, Z, what is the July it's code? N or M. Is it N? Okay. N, G, M, no, 6. No, no, no. You did both. No. N, G, That's June. That's June. N. N. Okay. It's an N, G, N, N, 6. Okay. There you go. That's it. Okay, so that's trading at 268. Look at all that support at two. Oh, that's 263 though, where the support is. Which is the high of that yeah, bar. Yeah, which is, which is the high. What we're looking at, folks, is the high of June 9th. Is 263. So bottom line, the 263 is probably game. I'm not going to trade it, but um, that's that's where I, I suspect. Well, there's two different ways to do this. You could, if, you, if you're trading it, you'd be going after that versus um, I'll wait for it to get there and see how, see if you're going to end up buying it again. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We get the Dow Industrials up 154. NASDAQ's up 44. S&Ps are up 18. We're going to write back, folks. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities, and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, or periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. 
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow's up 128. You get the Nasdaq up 39. S&Ps are up 15. So uh, numbers, uh, gas numbers just come out, and we just went from uh, 268 uh, to, well, 265 right now. Looks like those inventories rose 62 billion cubic feet versus a median estimate of about 60 billion cubic feet. So there's a little bit more supply, yeah. hence the drop, but in reality, not that far off from the estimates. Right. And it, on one of them, it would have to, you know, the, one of them that if it was a sell at that point, it would have had to be, it, it's going to be close because it's 264. It was 265 the sell, right? I'm not sure yet. I'm sorry. I lost you. The up here, well, the ones that we had up, the ones that we were talking about before okay. we broke. Sure. There were spread. There were three spreads. Right. And 265 was the top of it. That's my point right there. Okay. Let's go to Max in Houston. Hey, Max, what's going on? Good morning, guys. I got a couple of questions. I'm I'm sitting on about eight contracts on the 2070 um, weekly for Nadex. Okay, hold on. let's get let's get it up first. One second. Um, okay. You have the. Are you talking about 2070? The weekly binaries, weekly. right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 2070 and a half. Uh, S and P 500, yeah. I think it means. Yeah, S and P. Yeah, sorry. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And, and when I'm looking at the chart, it seems the market wants to go a lot higher. So I'm a little concerned to close up and go the other way, because I, I know this week is going to be weird, but I, I, I know the market, you know, wants to go down, but it ain't going down. <laughs> okay, so they... they yeah, walk me, walk me through first off what you did with this trade. Are you bullish, bears? Do you own okay. it? Are you short, yeah. Max? I no, long, I long uh, a yeah, shot. I'm short. I sold the contract. Okay. I sold them. In fact, uh, I got executed at a 72 this morning. Okay. Um, I had a, uh, you know, I had an order to sell, you know, 72. So I'm sitting at about 67, uh, you know. At Okay, so pretty close to even where the market's trading at right now, because it's trading at about 70 yeah. by 74. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean... The market has a whole lot of juice, but keeps going up, you know? <laughs> well, I I mean, if... 
when you say the market keeps going up, the market's failed every day. I mean, if you think the market's going up today, just close it. Yeah. Well, I mean, like what, I, what I'm saying is, uh, is that uh, it seems like there, there is no, I mean, it's not breaking. And I needed to break, you know, in order to make a profit. So it, do you all think there is probably a break between today and tomorrow? Or, no, that's, you know, that's, that's, throw, that's throwing the dice because of this. I, I would just close it, man. You know, because if you don't have conviction on the move either way, it's not, you know, there is, it's going to break either way tomorrow. But that's throwing the dice. That's a yeah. different ball game, man. Do you know what I mean? Okay. I understand. All right. I will do that. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe Thank one. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. The, um, you know, the volatility will be out there, but it's like, okay. My, my, my take is that we're still on this larger ABC structure on the way down. We'll find out, though, because, you know, bottom sure. line is that, you know, this thing can go to the moon in about two seconds, you know. Uh, it showed it last night. What I expect you're going to see here, though, as we get through the day, particularly because of the way, uh, watch, if we, uh, the, da the DAX has given it up in a huge way over in the UK. Uh, the FTSE, I believe, has too. Let me just see the FTSE. Yeah, I mean, look at this. That's pretty intense. The, fo the FTSE was as high as 63.80 today, and it's off 100 points, off 108 points. You're at 62.73. Yeah, so it looks like as, uh, let me see what the DAX, where the DAX has. That's pretty intense. Yeah, big move, percent and a um, half off the highs. The DAX, yeah, the high of the DAX today is uh, 10,340, and we're at uh, 10,148, 248. Wow, that's that's really. <laughs> yeah, it's like 1.8% off yeah, the highs. Yeah, so. More than likely, what you're going to see is that our own markets, you know, as we come in there, you know, more than likely we'll sell off. But, you know, that being said, when you're, not, when you're not comfortable with the trade, folks, and, you know, in Max's case, he could break even, it's like, why trade, right? There's, yeah. there's no yeah. reason to. Yeah. You've got to no, have conviction in yeah. what you're doing, for sure. You know, you, you just, you just, you, you just want to know. And what, what is really important here, too, folks, okay, you don't have to be trading right now. Uh, you can wait until this whole thing's over, and there's still going to be plenty of trades. Oh, for sure. You know? I yeah. mean, you know, this one vote's not going to, you know, be the be-all, end-all of this whole deal, folks. Uh, if we go take a look at some of the um, volumes out here, and this is going to be one of the things to watch, too. See, what we've done, folks, is that the on the S&P, the complex ABC structure on the S&P, the, the B point, uh, the, the C point on this is $209.36. That's the first C point. That was established on the 15th of June. That had 109 million. We got over that on Monday, and we got to $209.61, and we did 82 million shares, and we failed. And the reason it's a complex is that it had already broken the B point on June 16th, broke it with volume, got back on the other side of it, and now that's where, you know, yesterday it couldn't make the high of Monday. Today, we did make that high. We've given it up thus far. Now, if you want to see whether something is really less bullish or more bullish or less bearish or more bearish, if we close and we close under the first C point, which is the 209.36, that would be considered more bearish because you're tried. This would be the third time we try to get over that level. And what that would be indicating is that someone you know, a larger operator and a larger owner of equities is just sitting there selling, selling, selling. So if we look at the NDX 100 and you do the same setup inside the NDX, uh, the NDX, the, I don't think, the, yeah, see, the NDX has it, the NDX is weak enough that it hasn't even made it up to the $108.44. Um, the NDX is, uh, is subtle, but what has happened is that each and every time it tries to even get higher, it just can't handle it. You know, so uh, let's go take a look at Tesla because I suspect Tesla is still giving it. Well, it's only down 66 cents. So Tesla's not the culprit out here today. Uh, Tesla, no doubt, was uh, was was one of the culprits out there yesterday. Some of the higher volume stocks that we have out here today. You got Micron up a buck. Uh, Citigroup is up a buck 22. So let's go take a look at the XLF because it looks like the financials have. So the financials 
The XLF's tw up 29 cents. That's going to need, uh, oh, we'll see what it gets. The, the volume's not bad either. It's 15 million. It needs like more than 55 million. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how that uh, handles that higher price. Gold out here. Gold is uh, little by little. It's catching, it's catching a little bit. If we do go to the uh, XAU and the HUI, uh, XAU right now is up 15 cents. GDX is going to be one of the easiest ones to look at. That's going to need more volume. Right now we get 9 million. 9, 6 is a 48. No, 54. Yeah, okay. So the GDX has some volume behind the move. This is Tom O'Brien. Tommy O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow is up 131. NASDAQ is up 37. S&Ps are up 15 and a half. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Boeing is up uh, 187. You got Caterpillar up a uh, buck uh, 16. You got Citigroup up uh, 122. Uh, GM is up 37. You have Big Mac up 26. 3M is up 151. Uh, it's intriguing that so many Dow stocks are actually up pretty good. And the uh, if we do go over to the Dow, you know, bottom line is that you know you're you're up 138, but you know we we got as high as 17,946 on Monday, and we get to 947 today. Isn't that weird? How like it just ticks it by a point? Sure, <laughs> it really is. It's like crazy. 
Um, the potash stocks, they're up uh, a little bit out here today, folks. What that's all about is that there was a, a news. If you go take a look at uh, pot, because I know a lot of folks uh, own that uh, potash uh, corporation of Saskatchewan, that's up $1.21. And what the news was there is that uh, I guess there's an alliance uh, that these all these potash companies are getting together that India may uh, get uh, they might have a big sale to India and of course uh, you know what ends up happening there is that uh, fertilizer what, what do you call it the nitrogen okay that can get you know that is a pure commodity and you talk about something that can get expensive very quickly um, if they if they can sell, you know, when when crops get higher, meaning higher price, those they, those producers put the nitrogen up pretty quickly. And when, you know when they, of course when it goes down, they have to, you know, come down on price. But that is a volatile commodity in a big way. It's pretty wild that they need nitrogen to really get big crops going. Yeah, yeah, and even in, in your own lawn, nitrogen's a yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. I was reading in Cuba, so they had an article, it was a pretty good article too in the New York Times a couple of days ago. In Cuba, they think what's going to happen is that a lot of the organic um, companies that are growing are going to want in there because what has happened is that because they didn't have um, huge amounts of chemicals, money for huge amounts of chemicals years ago, there's a lot of fertile, great soil that is, hasn't been destroyed, that, you know, it's not that it's destroyed, but what happens, folks, if you use the nitrogen... It's nutrient-rich. Right? Yeah, it, it takes like sure. seven or eight years to, to make it, uh, you know, organic again. Okay. You know? Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go take a look at the, these E-minis. And so what we have with the E-minis, this is going to be wild watching this build cause here, folks, because the place that we're at right now, you know, in the S&P... Okay, you know, there's no doubt, even when we're talking to Max, this can go either way. I mean, you know, my take is that, yeah, we're going down, but right where we are, and the reason I'm saying that is this. See, we broke topside this morning. You know, it, it took out this whole other range that we've yesterday's been... Yesterday's highs. Yesterday's yeah. highs that we've been trading in. You know, so it's like, okay, man, you know, you come back to that area, you're testing it, and, you know, we'll see uh, if, in fact, it, it wants to break it. Now, a break would be... 2,089.50 on the, you know, you get underneath that, then then that would be saying that, hey, guess what? You know, you, you got uh, a market that wants to go lower. And, you know, we, we hit that on the first spike down at 950, but thus far, we've been going sideways for, uh, you know, the last 50 minutes. Uh, you know, don't forget, folks, uh, out here today, too, of course, we broadcast till 6 o'clock tonight. So what's going to be pretty cool is that, uh, you know, I suspect that coming even up to 5 o'clock, it, it should, you know, I... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't... You know, what, you know what's intriguing is that what I'm wondering is that if you're a large media corporation and you have a presence in the U.K., I suspect it's going to be like Bloomberg. They don't say a word. Zero. But if you didn't have a large presence in the UK or a presence at all, I wonder what the law is. Yeah, I just don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know. Um, you know because that's there's got to be. Well, I don't know if there's got to be news coming out of there or not. You know, that's what it comes down to. Um, yeah, natural gas. So was, which natural gas doing? It looked like it was bumping right around that 65 price point. Yeah, 265, kind of where it shot down to almost right on that first five-minute bar after the news. It's yeah. just kind of been hovering. So we went from 268 to 265. If we do look at, <clears throat> excuse me, folks, nat natural gas, if that can, I'd love to see that just pull back. Uh, NGN we're dealing with, right? Yeah. So what you have there. Look at that. That's crazy. So it, what, it, what it did do is that it looks like it went to that 263, the top of that high volume bar. Oh, but check this out. Oh, this is ABC down. Don't go buy. But go. Don't go buy in that, folks, right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see this. So if I did the A, is the 276. 
The B's at 265. That's a pretty good one. You get 12 cents, which would set up uh, 70, 60, 258, you know? Sure. So, you know, what's going to be cool here, folks, is that uh, if, in fact, we can, you can get something like that going, it would be really cool to see natural gas come all the way back into where the bottom of that bar was, which is 245 in the next week, week and a half before uh, the numbers come out next week. Because if that's what you did get, um, the bottom line is that uh, you get that with lighter volume, that can just be a natural retracement. That's something that, uh, that does want to go higher. The uh, NQs, the NQs are hanging there. This market is just hanging right where it broke out from at 5 o'clock this morning. And we may see just a s slow, calm market for the rest of the day. I know. Because we're not going to get any concrete answers. It's no. going to be a lot of speculation. And, it and, is. And, you know, that's it about is. it in reality. No. At it, least it, until our um, market closes. At that point, we're going to be coming into where it's 9 or 10 o'clock at night over in Britain. And, right. You know, I know the poll numbers, really, they're going to, by, by, you know, midnight our time, which is when, the like, early Friday morning in right. Britain, that's when everyone's going to know. Yeah. But you, just intuition and common sense tells you that with so much riding on this, people are going to be able to figure out which way it's going to go by the time the polls close, I would assume. Yeah, I would too. Right. right. It would seem it, it right? It would seem it, right. It would seem it. I mean, you know, they, they say they don't have exit polls. They say all of this. But, you know, this is there's so much riding on this that it would seem that someone's going to... There's a lot of people going to try to get, get there. You can get a pulse for the lay of the land at a minimum. Yeah, you know, and that's not being statistical. That's not, but you know, that's getting a pulse for things. That's just seeing how people are reacting. Seeing, you know, it's yeah, right, right. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at the uh, oil market. So CLQ six. Okay, so uh, yeah, oil's oil wants lower price, man. You know, uh, we had yesterday is that you know they had. Price spread from 50.54 to 48.40, and it, today it, it was trying to get up into a higher price, and the volumes dramatically light up. So that looks to me like it's setting up that it wants to at least go test the lows of yesterday, which is 48.40. Don't forget, folks, you stay right there. We're going to be coming right back, and of course we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, coming up next. He's going to be growling and prowling with you. We're going to go from. Uh, uh, Basil to uh, Thicker Swim headquarters uh, in Chicago. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, and of course uh, Andy's going to be uh, rounding it up. And what a great day to round it up at six o'clock. Dow right now is up 139. Nasdaq's up 40. SPs are up 16. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade C H A U or C H A D. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 145, and Nasdaq's up 43. S&Ps are up uh, 17. If we do go over, you know, over to Asia, and we take a look at uh, Asia last night, uh, thank you. What you're going to see is that, you know, Asia didn't catch any uh, bid last night. You know, you had the, the Hang Seng was up uh, 73, which, you know, was really a flat market, sideways market. Uh, Nikkei was up, uh, well, Nikkei was up 172. That's still 16,000 market so that that really didn't do anything either um the the big numbers of course that uh in these markets are going to be closing in approximately another uh, half hour uh the uk just can't hold higher price uh the dax in germany also uh, can't hold higher price you know so that's going to be a big number coming into that close because that's quite a spread out here today and uh if in fact that's what you get I expect what you're going to see is um, our own markets are going to probably have a, a little problem coming into the close. If we go back over to that natural gas for a second, oh, look at that, baby. Um, I'm going to expand that chart to find the bottom oh, of that bar. That just took a little leg down, yeah. Might make it to the 258 quicker than you thought. Yeah. Is that small ABC down? Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yep, there's, there's, a, there's, a sell, there's a seller in the natural gas market, no doubt. Well, it's had a nice expansion on the way up, too. Oh, yeah, that's, for sure. Yeah, that's the other side of it. You, know, you stay right there, folks. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be uh, coming up next with you, of course. And then we're going to uh, TD Ameritrade, uh, Thinkorswim headquarters. Now, if you haven't uh, test drove the Nadex platform, folks, this is a great time to do it. Because what you are going to have out here um, all day long, tonight... Um, is high volatility. You can test drive uh, the, the platform. It's absolutely free. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these contracts trade, whether you're, you're trading inside the commodity business, inside the indices, inside the currencies, uh, all of the above. You know, so uh, check it out right on the front page of TFNN. Yeah, see what happens. It'll be exciting. 36 hours oh that are my coming God. at us. It's not really. It's probably realistically, yeah, 24, 24, what do we got? 24, 29 hours exactly until our close, pretty much. And it's it's almost, it's like, okay, what time of the day uh, is someone going to hear something that the market believes? One way or the other. I think because those laws, though, it's really not going to come down until they start getting the actual polling results, where it's very yeah. different from our elections, where they tell you everything the exit. before they even close. Right, right. They're not allowed to do that at all, from what I yeah, hear. Yeah, no, you know, it, and, exactly. And so right, I think right. it literally has to be where they can't report on it until they actually get the results. Right. Which will be, I believe, like midnight our time. -ish, right. Around there, because that's 5 a.m. Yeah. That's where... So we'll see what happens. Let's go take uh, a peek right at these small caps before we wrap it up here. So the small caps, uh, the IWM, that got to $116.31. And and um, the 116.45 was the high that was out here on Monday. And it hasn't made it. It looks like the volume is going to be light up. So that uh, is also an indication that we're still um, on an ABC structure on the way down on, on the Russell uh, uh, the small caps, the Russell 2000, you know, so all the, let's we'll go to the bond market because what the bonds, what the notes haven't done yet is that, 
Oh, there they, 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 they have, actually, since we've been on. Okay, so we, we're at 130.25. It rejected that lower price. Yeah, it did it right when... Actually, it did it at 9 o'clock this morning, but now... Uh, the notes I make, uh, I, looks, the notes have rejected the lower price out here this morning, folks. You know, so if the notes were at 130.31, if those notes can make it over 131.02, that's only three ticks away. That would be a rejection of the strength that was generated out here on the 3rd of June. Stay right there, folks. Basil's coming right up. Dow up for 156. Nasdaq up 47. SB's up 18. Thanks, pal. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.